There is growing alarm over a cheap and highly addictive synthetic drug known as Flocka. It causes all sorts of paranoid, even deadly behavior. In South Florida, it's being compared to the crack cocaine epidemic of the 80s, and it's often sold through the mail. Our senior investigative correspondent, Cynthia McFadden, has the story from the epicenter of the epidemic, Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale is under siege from a new synthetic drug called Flocka. It's creating a crisis for county resources and sending 20 users a day to the overwhelmed emergency room. They have superhuman strength. They're psychotic, belligerent. It takes a lot of people to hold them down. People like these, often stripping off their clothes as their temperatures soar up to 105 degrees. Flocka-related deaths in Broward County in the last year, 60. Of all the drugs that I've seen, cocaine, amphetamines, heroin, the lauded, oxycontin, this is the absolute worst. Part of its appeal, it's so cheap. Five bucks will get you high. Five bucks will get you high. I remember just running, feeling like people were chasing me. In March, Stephanie thought she was smoking pot, but it was laced with Flocka, a white granular powder. Where did you end up? On top of a bridge. On top of a bridge, but I still was seeing people chase me and was still completely paranoid. So I jumped. Falling three stories into the water. 30 seconds! Go. Fort Lauderdale police say most of their drug raids these days are for Flocka. Fort Lauderdale Police Department search warrants! Let's see your hands! This raid yielding 140 doses and multiple users. Down the street at the Fort Lauderdale bus terminal, we saw three deals go down in under an hour. The guy in the white t-shirt with the black pants. The heavy set guy yeah. that's clapping his hands, yes. Yeah. Known dealer. Yes, ma'am. Flocka is manufactured in China. It has been easily bought online and delivered in the mail here in the U.S. Some of the companies even offer, if your product is seized by authorities, we'll replace it free of charge. Dealers can get rich quick. A kilo that costs $1,500 online has a street value of $50,000. This is the Silicon Valley of drug smuggling. And it doesn't take a large drug smuggling organization to bring it in. Sometimes the organization is a college kid who hires his friends. There's not much of a barrier here for a startup. We're calling it the devil's drug. Ray Rapaglia runs a drug rehab center in Fort Lauderdale and says Flocka users present a challenge. We're not as inclined to accept them in our program because we know that they might relapse. They pose safety threats to the rest of our residents. But he decided to take a chance on Stephanie, now eight months clean and living, she says, for her daughter. I know for sure that I'm lucky to be alive right now. It's by the grace of God that I'm alive. Flocka, also known as gravel, has spread to other parts of the country, including Chicago, Houston, and Kentucky, as well as New York. Under pressure from the U.S., the Chinese recently made the manufacturing and exporting of Flocka illegal. The effect here in the U.S. is yet to be seen. Some frightening stuff, though, Cynthia. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.